Previously on Celebok. I actually figured out my Enneagram type. And the only question remaining at this point is... Now what? Yep. Now what? I mean, it's like I spent all that effort figuring out my Enneagram type, so how can I make it all worthwhile? And I know a lot of people have their own answers to that question. Um, you know, after all, the Enneagram is supposedly a tool for personal growth. Um, but I still feel the same way that I did two years ago uh, when I said that my personal growth is entirely through uh, God's wisdom, uh, through prayer, studying God's Word, and uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to guide me and to, uh, to teach me. So I just kind of feel like, for me, just having that foundation as a Christian kind of eliminates the, the need to, to look into all those, those things like integrating, integrating into uh, whatever type I'm supposed to integrate. I think it's, what, nine integrates to three, I think and disintegrates to six, um, or looking at the, the different levels of, of the type nine, um, you know, and, and I realize that those are things for like, you know, people who want to use the Enneagram uh, for, for their personal growth, but you know, like I said, I just, I just don't feel like, like, like I really need that because, you know, I have, I already have the tools for that. So then I kind of have to go back to the question, well, why did I want to find out my Enneagram type in the first place? You know, was it just so that I'd have something to contribute to conversations online, the typology communities online? Um, <laughs> I don't know, that might be part of it, but... Um, well, I mean, I did realize along the way that um, knowing that I'm a Type 9 did help to explain uh, some of the differences between me and other ISTPs. And, you know, I still feel like I'm more defined by being an ISTP than being a Type 9. Uh, my Enneagram type, I see it as just kind of more of a supplement to, to my overall personality type. So I might describe some experience and then say, oh, is it an ISTP thing? Or is it an SP thing? Is it a TI Don thing? Or is it an Enneagram 9 thing? Depending on the situation, uh, my own actions can have uh, any number of reasons behind them. It might not even be personality type at all. It might just be my, my background, my experiences, things I've learned, um, which, you know, as I've always maintained, can easily affect one's behaviors. So, you know, I know there's still more interesting Enneagram theories to learn about, you know, like, a, you know, like the tri-types and stuff, but, um, you know, overall, I kind of feel like, you know, as far as where to go from here, um, I kind of feel like I'm at a pretty decent plateau where I can just like relax a bit and join in the discussions and just and just talk about whichever elements of my personality are relevant. I mean, after all, I'm an ISTP. We're not supposed to be interested in typology theory in the first place, so it's kind of amazing that I've come this far, right? Oh, and in case you're wondering about my tri-type, I do think uh, I'm a 953. Um, Five, obviously, because I thought I was a five for a while, and I, I still relate to five the most out of, out of all the uh, the three types in the in the head triad. Three was a bit harder to figure out, um, but it just came down to well, out of all three of the 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 heart types, I'd say three is the one that I don't relate to the least. But I don't know, it just all kind of seems like kind of redundant information. It's like, well, yeah, I know I relate to type 5 a bit. And it's all just, it just kind of all goes back to, well, these are all traits that are similar between these Enneagram types and my Myers-Briggs type. I mean, my understanding of the tri-type is that it just kind of helps you to 
explain the variations uh, within the core type. And well, I already have like, you know, I already have the, the instinctual variance in my Myers-Briggs type to, to kind of explain that. So it's like, well, I mean, if we're talking to people who who know Enneagram types but don't know much about MBTI, then yeah, I can all just say, well, yeah, I know I'm a 953 SPSX, and then uh, that'll kind of explain a bit about about my personality without having to say explain what an ISTP is. But otherwise, you know, I would rather just say, hey, I'm a ISTP 918 SPSX, and then you know we can just take it from there. Okay, how about this? I am a single 43-year-old Asian-American conservative Christian male ISTP 9-wing-8, 5-wing-6, 3-wing-2, SPSX, swing dancing, software engineer living in Washington State and still obsessed with Lost. What was I even talking about? Oh, and there's that.